Hello friends. Today we will discuss generator power protection and also the difference between class A and class B type of tripping in a synchronous generator. Let's start with this schematic. Here I have shown a turbo generator. This is turbine. This is generator. This is the rotor of generator. The rotor is connected with the two slip rings, positive slip ring and negative slip ring. This is the excitation breaker which is also called as field circuit breaker. Uh, this is IPBD from generator. The active energy is flowing through the IPBD to the generator transformer and from generator transformer it is transmitted into the grid. So just after the generator transformer there is a circuit breaker called GT breaker and from this IPPD a tapping goes to the unit auxiliary transformers and from here the auxiliary power is distributed into the unit. So what is meant by generator tripping? Generator tripping is also known as uh, sometimes class A tripping because very rare protections are of class B type. So what is mean by generator tripping? The, to trip the generator means we are tripping this breaker, this GT breaker, we are tripping these two UAT breakers and we are tri uh, tripping this field circuit breaker. So almost 90% of the generator protections use this uh, kind of tripping, class A tripping where all the three types of breakers are tripped instantly. And also the steam valve, it also gets closed at the same time. So what is the drawback of this kind of tripping which is called as class A tripping? The main drawback is that when this GT breaker is tripped, so what will happen to the strapped steam inside the turbine? This will lead to the overspeed of the rotor. Because this excess mechanical energy, it will be converted into the kinetic energy and the rotor will overspeed, which is not desirable. So, in some generator protections, what we can do if the condition is not severe and we can wait for some time to use this trapped uh, steam. So, there, first the turbine valve is closed. Okay. The moment the turbine valve uh, gets closed, the steam flow it will drastically reduce when steam flow will reduce the active power flow it will fall down and in the generator there is a protection called low forward power protection when the active power flow comes below than a certain limit generally one or two percent of the rated uh, power at that time this protection will operate and it will give tripping to all the electrical breakers like this UAT breaker, GT breaker and field circuit breaker. So to utilize this trapped steam, this low forward power protection is used. Okay. And suppose uh, this low forward power protection does not operate. At that time what will happen? The steam valve is in closed condition means the prime mover has been lost and the GT breaker is still in the closed condition. So the generator will draw active energy from the grid and it will behave like a motor. If the excitation in, is on, the generator will behave like a synchronous motor and if the excitation is off, the generator will behave like induction motor. So suppose the excitation is on, the generator will behave like a synchronous motor. So at that time, my turbine is rotating at 3000 or uh, the synchronous speed which is not desirable because there is no steam. So this may damage the turbine blades. So for that reason, the reverse power protection is configured in the relay. So it is very rare condition because before uh, reverse power protection, this low forward power protection will operate. So these are the basics behind low forward power protection and reverse power protection. Now come to the class B trip. What are the generator protections uh, which are uh, initiated to, uh, through class B trip? Class B trip means 
first the turbine valve is closed and after uh, that the low forward power protection operates in the generator really so the protections are like stator overload protection negative sequence overload protection under frequency protection why these three protections because the stator of the generator is designed in such a way that it can withstand about two times of rated current for around 1 minute so we can uh, tolerate one or two seconds delay in the tripping of the generator also it is designed for negative sequence overload uh, withstand so it is not necessary to trip the generator instantly on these three conditions and now uh, let's uh, come to the uh, unit shutdown procedure how to shut down the unit at that time this class b protection becomes very crucial so just focus on this flow diagram when the coal is burned the heat is transferred to the steam and when the steam enters into the turbine uh, due to the mechanical energy absorbed by the generator electrical energy is uh, produced at the output of the generator so if you want to shut down the unit it's better first we have to cut the coal means first this mft the boiler trip has to be done when we will uh, do mft there is one condition in the tripping of class b that is boiler trip so this class b tripping will be initiated and it will trip the turbine valve and when this turbine valve gets closed the same procedure will be repeated the generator will uh, trip on this protection low forward power protection and also some turbine problems are also uh, coming under this class b uh, type of tripping suppose there is over speeding of turbine or there is some problem in the lube oil circuit or some mechanical issue at that time also this class b tripping comes means first the valve gets closed and after some time the low forward power protection will trip the generator so these are all the class b conditions turbine problem and suppose somebody is forcefully tripping the boiler or some generator protections in which delay can be possible like stator overload negative sequence overload and under frequency and almost 90% of the protections are class a where these electrical breakers are tripped along with the steam valve i hope you are clear with the class a and class b protection after this video so thank you and good night catch you in the next video